Hey, make sure, now I've put the triangle at the first place because it says place triangle A in quadrant one with this right angle at the origin. Make sure you have a clear sheet, okay? You're going to place it on top of this and you are going to trace it. I think when we practiced in class, this was not something that some people showed that they needed help with. So this part, I'm pretty sure everybody can do, okay? This is the part that may be confusing. What if I ask you to rotate about a point that is not the origin? Let's look at this point. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And let's say we went up one, two. So I am going to rotate about the point five, two. You see how I put my cross there? And I'm going to put my cross here because this is going to act as like my turn knob. If I ask you to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise, so you're going to turn it about that point in the position that the clock's hands turn. So I'm going 90 degrees clockwise, okay? So that's what my new triangle would be. And I would take that triangle that was the same size as this one, if that's the one that I'm rotating. And you know I'm going to put it underneath here. So with my quilt square, let's do a different color so you can see it better. You would be able to see how that shape rotated 90 degrees clockwise about that point. 